Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new series about the Power Platform. The aim of this series is to discuss as many possibilities of the Power Platform as uh, possible on the basis of a practical example. So in this series, we are going to build a simple sales application together for qualifying new leads. And later in the series, we'll expand this application as much as possible with the, the features of the Power Platform. For the app, we are going to use a model-driven app in combination with Dataverse and SharePoint. And to automate some of the processes, we are going to use Power Automate. So in this first episode, we will focus on setting up the solution and the necessary tables. For this application, I've created a trial environment. This is so we don't confuse any of the end users in the production environment. And uh, once the application is ready for production, we will just convert it to the to a new production environment or export and import it into the current production environment. For the initial setup of the application, we keep it as simple as possible. Because of some data will be used more often and you don't want to enter everything again, we will store uh, frequently used information in uh, separate tables. In addition, this can also help in the future for sorting and analyzing data in, for example, Power BI. So for the first part of the application, we're going to use three tables, the projects, the customers, and the account managers. For the project, we're going to use as a primary column, the ID. This will be an auto-generated number. For the customers, we're going to use the company name as a primary ID, uh, as a primary column. And for the account managers, we're going to use the name of the account manager as our primary column. Because of one customer can have multiple projects, but one project can't have multiple customers in this example, we're going to use a one-to-many relationship or a many-to-one relationship. And in our example for account managers, this will be the same. One project can have one account manager, but one account manager can have multiple projects. If in your solution, it's necessary to have multiple account managers for one project, this is obviously also perfectly fine and possible within the Power Platform. So the next thing we want to do is create a solution and recreate this design inside of our very own solution. All right, so the first thing that we want to do to recreate our design inside of the Power Platform is to create a solution. You go to the left pane in the Power Platform and click on Solutions and add a new solution. So this one we're going to name the Sales app we'll be selecting the default the publisher and we're going to create a new solution. There we go. And the next thing we want to do is recreate our three tables inside of our new solution. So we're going to go to our solution and once we're in our solution, we're going to create a new table. So the first one we're going to create are the projects. And as our primary column, we pick the ID. And another important thing right here is to enable attachments. This is because we want to use SharePoint as document storage later on. And for this, you need to enable attachments on a table level. The rest of it, you can keep blank for now. And we're just going to create our first table. All right, I've sped up things a little bit so you didn't have to wait. So here we have our very first three columns. So for the account managers, we have the name of the account manager as our primary column. For the customers, the company name. For the projects, we have the ID as our primary column. So now what we want to do, we want to recreate the table, the columns inside of our tables, inside of the new tables inside of, uh, of Dataverse. So let's start with the projects. So the first column that we want to, now we already created this one, but we want to change it a bit. And that's the ID. And that's the primary column. So what do we want to change here? We want to change the single line of text to a auto number. And as an auto number type, we pick, let's just go for a date time format. And at the date time format, we're going to add a random number. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit save and save the primary column. There we go. All right, so the next one we are going to create is customer. And the customer is a many-to-one relationship. And in Dataverse, you can make a many-to-one relationship by using a lookup column. So when you have the column for the customer, you can just look inside of the table with the customers. 
pick the one you need, and then it will get the automatic connection to the customer's table. And you can also use data within this table, within this record, but that's something for later. So we want to create a customer table. And as we said, we are going to use a lookup column. You can use a description. Then we're going to add the related table. And in this scenario, that's going to be the customer table. Where are you? There you are. And we're going to hit save and add the column to our table. All right. So the next column in our table is the date. And as you can see, when you create a table within Dataverse, you already have some preset columns that you can use. And one of them is created on. And in this scenario, I think created on is perfectly fine for us. So we're just going to stick with this table and use this one in our application. All right. So the next one is account manager. This is the same as for customers. We're going to add a many to one relationship. And we're going to do it with a lookup column. And the difference is that we're going to use the account managers right here. There we go. We're going to hit save and create the column. Uh, the contact person, this is just within our own organization, who is our contact person uh, for this project. So we're going to create a new column. We're going to name it contact person. And what we want to go for, mm, let's just go for a single line of text right now that people know who is contact person for this project but you can also connect this to uh, your Microsoft 365 tenant and add a user from the Azure database but maybe we can do this in the future but for now we're just going to keep it simple and stick with a single line of text there we go we're going to hit save and then we're going to have the estimated revenue create a column estimated revenue this is a currency. So these are all of the data types that you can choose within data first. And then from then you can select whether it's just a simple data type behavior or calculated or roll up, but that's something for another episode. For now, we're gonna keep it simple. So that just means if you put in 20,000 euros, it will display 20,000 euros inside of the column in the application. We're going to hit save, and then we have created our columns for the project table. So now we're going to add our columns for the account manager. So the name we already have is the primary column. We don't have to change anything over there. What we do want to add is a phone number of the company. So let's go for a text area with a phone number. It's a simple behavior. Now we're going to hit save. The other one we're going to add is email. And there we go. Hit save, add the column. Then where we want to go, the customers. So at the customers, we're going to add the contact person. And for this as, as well, for now, we're just going to stick with a single line of text. But you can also make a table within here for all of the contact persons that you have within different companies. You can make it as complex as you want, but for now we're gonna stick it with a simple solution. So we're gonna add contact person, a single line of text, there we go. And email. So one thing that's important, and that's what I wanted to show you with this, once you create a column, it's not possible to change the, the type or the format. So in this scenario, what we wanted is the, the email text type. What we did was we created the single line of text regularly. It's not possible to change it. So if you want to uh, make this change, you need to delete the column and add a new one. So another thing we wanna add is the employees, the size of the organization. 
And for this, we'll be picking a whole number because uh, yeah, there are no half persons working in an organization. So let's just stick with the whole number. Behavior is simple. And there we go. And the last one is the revenue of that particular organization. And that's a currency. There we go. We've created our columns inside of the table. In this episode, we built our first data structure in Dataverse. We created our solution. We created our uh, three tables and we created the necessary columns. So in the next episode, what we're going to do, we are going to create an interface for our application so that we can also see what we've built so far, that the columns get visible. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So for now, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.